the Marshall University Rugby Football Club, which was founded in 1989. It's a team of hard-hitting athletes who strive for excellence on and off the pitch. We interviewed Grant Johnson, former Old Dominion rugby player and current Marshall University rugby player, to get his take on the sport and Marshall University's very own team. unique to other American sports, American sports that have popularity. Uh, there's, there's two parts. The first is, it's truly a hybrid of the skills involved. So traditionally sports fall into sports where you use your hands, or you use your feet, or then there's some sports lacrosse, hockey, baseball, where you use uh, a, I'll say a stick, but you use some sort of equipment that's the focal point of the sport. Rugby is a really interesting mix because it's a ball sport, but it's not truly a hand sport like football or basketball. It's not truly a foot sport like soccer. It's a sport where kicking is a massive part of the game, and then catching and passing are equally as large parts. Uh, you can have rugby matches where they kick the ball 30, 40 times a game, where kicking is a focal point of the game. You could have a rugby match where it happens five, ten times, where its role in the game is akin to that of you know, American football. And the, the other thing is, is that rugby, having its European origins, it's got that natural fluidity, the, the non-stop action to it, where the, the role of the game is for the game to never stop except for its set breaks, halftime, the end of the game. And that's really interesting because it's hard to it's hard to get that in a contact sport. There's so much variability, there's there's an amount of chaos going on. So it's a fluid sport and it involves a myriad of different skills to be good at rugby. And then I, I think that's part of why it's growing in popularity. So, once again, there's two things I think that are causing the rise of popularity of rugby in the U.S. One, like I said, it's dynamic. It's uniquely European, but it still has that, that contact element that uh, American sports, hockey, football, and then that toughness, you know, that you see in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. It's got that. And the second thing, going off of America's loving that toughness, the contact, that cultural identity, is rugby's a contact sport, but it poses, as research has shown, a reduced risk for concussions. And you're seeing a lot of, a lot of research, a lot of outcry, a lot of discussion in the public forum about you know, what impact are these hits to the head having on our kids. So you have rugby, a sport that teaches those lessons that they stole from contact team sports. But because of the nature of the game, it's a game where you don't tackle it to hurt the person. There's no benefit to just getting them down. It's, it's a high contact, low intensity of contact. It's high volume, low intensity. And this takes the head out of the game. It means you're seeing a lot fewer head injuries in a sport that's exciting in that way that only contact sports can be and teaches some of the life lessons that only a contact sport can really teach. So I think that's why you're seeing its rise in popularity, especially at the collegiate level where you have a bunch of ex-athletes uh, who want what sport provides but either weren't good enough or have other priorities uh, so they couldn't pursue their previous sport at the next level. What makes the Marshall Rugby team special compared to other teams i played for is that uh, the Marshall Rugby team uh, doesn't receive a lot of support from the university and uh, Huntington, while it's a relatively large city, there's not a massive area where there's a bunch of uh, economic partnerships to make. The, the Old Dominion Rugby Club was a little bit more well established and while there's, there's downsides to not having these partnerships in a rugby club, the nice thing is it, it gives it a sandbox atmosphere. You're able to um, you can do things or you can build the club yourself. You can build it in a way that's totally unique to what you and your teammates enjoy rather than having to change facets of the club for university standards or partnerships you have to reflect uh, what they want from your club. So it's, it's really unique that you can make the club anything you want. What is a rugby player? So Rugby is, everyone knows, it's got this this reputation is it's a rough, violent, brutal sport, but I think the one thing that's overlooked is rugby is ultimately a sport that's played to have fun. Uh, for example, there's there's no national, like, professional league in the United States, and so what it is is ultimately a rugby player is someone who 
likes to likes to compete. And I, I don't mean this in just a physical way, but it's someone who, in their spare time, in their time they could do anything else, they want to experience the thrill of physical competition. They want to they want to see how far can I go. You know, what, what what can I do that other people can't. So I think really at its core, we're, there's a competitive person, but also as I alluded to, there's a social aspect. And as, as, as much of rugby, the, the sport, the culture, the off the field activities uh, that rugby players engage in are, define the sport just as much as the on the field activities. So it's, it's someone who's competitive, who wants, to, who wants to compete, but it's also about having fun and uh, it's about community. Uh, it's community oriented, tough, uh, fun-loving people. That's, that's how I would define a rugby player.